what is up everybody this is my first youtube video um let me know what you guys think of this format yeah just let me know so today we're gonna be talking about lonzo ball this man needs no introduction if you know anything about basketball today we're just gonna be talking about his past seasons his 2021 season and what could potentially happen during this off season and what i think is the best option for him so last season lonzo ball averaged 11.8 points seven assists and 6.1 rebounds while shooting an extremely solid 37.5 percent from the three-point line which for a role player this is not terrible this is not bad at all but the thing is that we've seen him in college and we've seen him in high school and we know what kind of player he is there's no doubt that he had some superstar huge superstar potential when he was entering the league and honestly in my opinion i still think he has it and i still think he can reach it think about it he's only 23 and there's so much in his game that he's already fixed in his first four seasons now obviously we know that lonzo hasn't had the greatest start in the nba in his rookie year he was known as a bust he was ridiculed disrespected which uh you know i get I get it. This man was shooting a terrible 30% from three. But when he got traded to New Orleans, I think that was a huge wake-up call for him. Once Lonzo arrived in NOLA, he started working on his game. This man's three-point percentage went from 32% to 37% in one year, which is just crazy because you guys saw his jump shot. It's crazy how much he tweaked it in such a small amount of time. Not to mention, Lonzo made 172 threes this season which makes him number 21 in three-pointers made this season. Lonzo's confidence was slowly going up every season. Now for the 2021 season, I sorry, I just said seasons like four times in a row in less than 10 seconds. Lonzo averaged 14.6 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 5.7 assists. I know the numbers haven't changed drastically, but we could see a new version of Lonzo, a version where he wouldn't even think twice about shooting the rock. He would just let it fly. But I will admit, Lonzo Ball is extremely inconsistent. This man could drop 33 points one game and then drop 5 points the next, which uh, I know it just stresses a bunch of us Lonzo Ball fans out. Personally, I don't completely blame him. Someone that I do blame, well partially blame, has to be Stan Van Gundy, solely because he doesn't let the man run point guard. I say partially because Lonzo also has a choice in doing that. We can see in every game how Lonzo just passes the ball as soon as he takes it up to half court line. So that's one of the things he needs to work on. Lonzo is known as a pass first point guard. In most cases, this sounds great, this sounds amazing for a team, but there's moments while he's playing where you wish he would just shoot it or go in the paint. I feel like if Lonzo was more aggressive, his game would go to a whole new level. And that's just a fact. In the 2021 season, the Pelicans offered Lonzo a rookie extension on his contract, but Lonzo simply declined. Lonzo feels that he's worth $20 million. Don't get me wrong, I'm a Lonzo fan all the way, but $20 million, bro? Here's the thing, there comes a time where you have to put aside chasing the bag and make the decision that could positively impact your whole career. I'm saying this because I don't want Zoe to miss out on an amazing opportunity where he could be on a great team, but simply doesn't take it just because he wants the 20 mil. During the trade deadline, there was a bunch of talks about which teams were trying to get him in this past season. Chicago, the Atlanta Hawks, the Warriors, the Dallas Mavericks, the LA Clippers, and the New York Knicks. Lonzo reportedly prefers to play for the New York Knicks and the Chicago Bulls. Personally, I feel like right off the bat, the Warriors would simply not work at all. I feel like if you played for them, he would just be coming off the bench and he just wouldn't feel right. His confidence wouldn't be as high. I feel like he would just do what he's doing now and pass it to Clay and Steph rather than shooting it. Now, for the Dallas Mavericks, personally for me, it's kind of hard to see him in the lineup. Maybe I'm just being weird, but I just can't see it. It'd be tough to see Alonzo and Luka backcourt in my mind because I feel like it would be really difficult for them two to complement each other's games. Now when we're talking about the Bulls, the Hawks, the Knicks, and the Clippers, I can see him fitting in pretty well. For the Hawks, I could see Lonzo and Trey as a pretty good backcourt. I say this because Trey, as crazy as it may seem, if you guys don't watch the Hawks game, he's not a selfish player. He's currently averaging 9 assists per game, which is incredible. So I feel like if he were to see Lonzo open in the corner, he would pass it in with no hesitation. Plus, there was this video going around of them two working out together this past offseason. So I feel like the talk of him signing with the Hawks could have been a potential thing between them. For the LA Clippers, I honestly feel like it could work. Just imagine having to go against the Clippers and you already got Kawhi going crazy on defense. And now you got Lonzo there too. 
it'd be a nightmare. Another thing is that that team has so much talent there that I feel like Lonzo's assists could go up so much more. Now for the Chicago Bulls, this is a team where I'm 50-50 on because I honestly have no idea how good this could work and how good this could be. Because the Bulls already have Kobe White starting at point guard and I'm not sure if they will give him up for Lonzo Ball in the starting lineup. But since this is one of Lonzo's preferred teams, I'm pretty sure him, Zach, and maybe even Kobe have talked about it before. I remember watching the Bulls versus the Pelicans game and I saw Zach, Kobe, and Lonzo saying what's up to each other. But at first, I thought something was about to go down. I mean, come on. Look at Zach running at Lonzo like that. All I know is that if I saw a 6 foot 6 Zach Levine running to me like that, I'd be running the other way, man. For the New York Knicks, I think it would be a good fit because this team has always been a team that was interested in acquiring Lonzo. So I feel like if they finally got him, they would let him and trust him with running the offense. Which I know, for all of us Lonzo fans, that is a dream come true. The Knicks have been absolutely insane this season. And with them being a contender, this could be a great thing for Lonzo experience wise. Let's say hypothetically Lonzo decides to stay in New Orleans. I can see this as the most realistic option. Simply because I feel like Lonzo is the type of person to where if he feels comfortable with his teammates and the team itself, I feel like he'd want to stay simply because he's been with Josh Hart and B.I. since he's entered the league. I just feel like he's really comfortable in New Orleans that this would happen, but who knows. Also a quick mention, even if this does have a 0.001% chance of happening is uh, well you know, Dennis Schroeder turned down a 4 year $84 million contract extension from the Lakers which means that uh, the Lakers uh, uh, wink wink uh might need a point guard for next season and uh yeah uh, i i don't know man i just really miss seeing the light skin connection I, I don't know if it's just me but uh i just can't let that go real quick no sus stuff nothing like that but just look at this real quick fuck romeo and julia i won't wait Sorry, that just makes me um, a little emotional. All right, nah, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Now, my top three teams that I would like to see him go to are the Bulls, the Knicks, and honestly, you guys are gonna hate me, but for him to stay in New Orleans. But hey, this is just my opinion. I would love it if you guys could give me your opinion down in the comments. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this video. And I hope you guys have a great ass day. And goodbye. Please subscribe if you guys enjoyed this and give this video a big thumbs up.